Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian. In this video, I'll be sharing with you awareness and training control family. What is awareness and training control family? What are the examples of training topics that could be you know, done under this control family? And what are the types of uh, controls? What are the controls under this control family? So these are what we're going to be discussing in this video. And before we continue, please, if this video makes sense to you, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, um, share this video, and then turn on your notification button. Thank you. Awareness and training control family. So what does this mean? It means that, you know, organizations must, as a matter of, you know, fact, it means that organizations, you know, must ensure that managers and users of organizational information systems are made aware of the security risk associated with their activities. And um, also, managers and employees are made aware of all applicable policies, all applicable standards, all applicable procedures. This is what awareness and training is all about. It is the organization that provides the training. So during the course of the training, this is what they must bring to the awareness of employees, the risk associated with their jobs. And they must also be made aware of their policies, their standards, their regulations, their SOP. Now, another thing that must be made or made aware of employees during, this, during the course of training uh, is that organizations must ensure that their personnel are adequately trained in every organization irrespective of which sector they belong either government private commercial big small there is the need for them to train their employees there is the need for them to bring to the awareness of their employees the risk associated with their task there is the need for them to bring to the attention of the employees their policies, their procedures, their standard. It is important. If employees are not made aware of these things, they will fall prey. There are a lot of attacks out there over the internet. As long as we use laptops, as long as we use desktop, as long as we use the internet, it comes with a lot of risk. This risk must be brought to the attention of employees so that is why awareness and training is important another thing you need to know is awareness and training control family is a common control what does this mean it means that it is the organization that provides this control this is it here it means it is the organization that provides this control common controls are controls that has the capacity the capability to secure multiple information system at once Common controls are the controls that are inheritable. Common controls are the controls that are inheritable. So it is not particular to any information system. So if your system is categorized as low, moderate, or high, that system must inherit awareness and training control family. Why? Because it's common control. And also, according to NIST 853, there are six controls under awareness and training. There are six controls under awareness and training. So these are some of the vital information you need to know regarding awareness and training. Also, there are examples of training topics that must be carried out, that employees must be made aware of. Training topics during awareness and training, such as working remotely, what are the risks associated with working remotely. What are the do's and don'ts? Employees must be made aware of this. Social engineering attack. Employees must be made aware or adequately trained on what is social engineering attack. How does it occur? Who would they target? How do you report it? How do you identify social engineering attack? So these are part of what employees should be trained. Phishing attack is also another training topic that organizations must provide to their employees what is phishing attack how do you identify phishing attack how do you report it 
internet and email security these days email as you send emails out to your colleagues even to those outside the organization what are the security precautions that employees must put in place what are the things that they must do this is part of the training that must be provided to employees and we also have insider threats what is insider threats is there are there disgruntled employees what is making them to be disgruntled is it their managers their supervisor their pay raise their you know promotion now employees must be made aware that look there are insider threats your colleagues could be a threat to this organization so so that they will be able to know how to report it when to report it and who to report it to so these are examples of training topics that organizations can provide to their employees Examples of controls under the AT control families, we have these controls, like I told you earlier on, six controls in total under the AT control families. One, we have the AT1, which is policies and procedures addressing AT controls. What should be inside AT controls? Who should you know, carry out those policies? Who should sign it? How often should it be updated? Is what is contained in the policy. AT2 is literacy training and awareness this you know control has been recently changed from security awareness training to literacy training and awareness so it talks about what are the instances upon which an organization should train their employees one they should train them whenever they just hire them two they must train employees whenever there is a system change and three they must provide security awareness uh, training that is refresher security awareness training either monthly quarterly or annually so that is 82 and then we have the 82 enhancement 2 is talking about literacy training and awareness insider trade train your employees about insider trades 82 enhancement 3 literacy training and awareness social engineering and mining i discussed that you know previously so every organization must put as part of their training topics social engineering and, <clears throat> and mining excuse me and then we have 83 which is role based training it means that every role that organize that employees occupy either they are system administrators network administrators database administrators security administrators they must be adequately trained to understand their roles to understand their tasks to understand their duties so as to ensure segregation of duty so role-based training should also be carried out and then 84 is training record training record means that organizations must keep a record of every training provided to employees who have taken the training who have not taken the training what are the lessons learned consequences of not taking the training this must be adequately documented and as part of the controls under the AT control family. If this video has been helpful to you, uh, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification button. Thank you very much.